Beyond What's TV. up? This is Toby from H2O. Check me out on Beyond TV. Peace. H2O, here with H2O. Sick of it all. H2O Blood Cot Show. August 10th. Crazy Donkey, Long Island. Long Islands. Long Islands. How are you guys doing tonight? Okay. Doing good. Cool, cool. Um, new album. It's fucking amazing. Thank you. Definitely. Uh, love it. How, uh, How'd you guys, who contacted who as far as, let's record another album? It's been seven years <coughs> with it. It's been going on for the past seven years, back and forth with each other, with being bi-coastal and talking about music and um, figuring out when we're actually going to sit down and actually make an album. But there's been demos floating around for seven years. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean a, lot, a lot of these songs go back over that entire time period that we took off. And I think when we finished the Go Cycle, we just kind of, everyone just, just wanted to take a break and everyone kind of started doing other things with their lives. The break got longer. We never lost touch. We still played music. We still did some touring, but the time was never really right for us to go back in the studio. And then pretty much just organically, like we did a little session out in Los Angeles where we, we did some some music together. And then uh, I made some demos, Todd had some stuff. Yeah. And it just came like this idea of just like, well, we, we've got this one window Everyone's gonna be around. Todd's off tour because he was with Juliet Lewis at that point. Chad's off tour, who wants gonna produce the record. You know, we had this like two week, three week window in January of this year, and we decided, fuck it, let's go in and make a record. And once we got in the studio, it was like, bam, 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 it's done. Real fast. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Just that simple. Awesome. Uh, were you guys surprised at the overwhelmingly positive response? And you know, still... the record. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still yeah. in shock. We're just in Europe for three weeks and. The response has been amazing, and we really haven't started playing shows. It's like our eighth show in the U.S. on this album. We haven't done the tour yet, and the response and just everything about with the record's been all positive, man. We're just like, we're really happy because it could went, really, it could went the opposite way. And kids were like, ah, oh, fuck that band. Who's that band? What's yeah. H2O? And we're very lucky that kids stayed following us, and you know, and just are still here, and they're and they're interested. So we're psyched. Awesome. Uh, as far as having Chad Gilbert. Um, produced a record for you guys do you think that helped having somebody who was like a long you know diehard fan sure hell yeah absolutely yeah it worked all positive for us because um, you want to get the best of both worlds yeah. of all the different albums that he liked and things he didn't like about H2O and things he did like about H2O and he got he gets us yeah he, he definitely he brings that I mean obviously in his own his own career he's obviously had a really successful musical career and uh, so he's obviously a very good musician he's a very good producer but on the other hand he's a really big fan of H2O and that back catalog so it's good that that he kind of blends those two things together you know it, it's one thing we've had producers in the past who were really good producers but didn't necessarily understand the kind of band we were and on the flip we could get someone that understands the kind of band we are but doesn't really have a good background in production so with chad we had both in one person and it, it worked out really really well